Hello and welcome everyone. I am Dr. Hashmet Aglan, Interim Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 69th Annual Staff and Faculty Recognition. Our human resources are our most valuable assets at Tuskegee University. Without our faculty and staff, we could not transform the lives of our students. Today, we assemble virtually to honor staff and faculty contributions to Tuskegee University. First on our program, we will have the invocation by Dr. Gregory Gray, Dean of the Tuskegee University Chapel. O God, in whom we live and move and have our being, it is with thanksgiving that we offer praise and glory and honor to Thee as Creator and Sustainer and Redeemer of the world. We pray that You would send forth Thy light and Thy truth, even unto this creation, that it may fall upon all who share, especially in the life and work of Tuskegee University, as we observe this annual faculty and staff recognition ceremony. But may that light and truth fall upon all, as students, faculty, staff, administration, board of trustees, alumni, and friends of Tuskegee University. Grant us hindsight from the past. Grant us insight into the present. Give us foresight into the future. So that in thought and word and deed, our lives will reflect the growth and the development that is your will for this institution. Show us the path to a good and faithful life that represents excellence in all things. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage for the living of these days. In the name of all that is blessed and sacred among us, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Dean Gray, for that inspirational invocation. Now, I would like to introduce our Associate Provost, Dr. Tamara Floyd Smith, who will serve as our moderator for today's program. Welcome, Dr. Floyd Smith. Thank you, Dr. Aglin. Next, we will have the presentation of the Staff Employee Awards by Mrs. Nequitha Bowen Tarver, Chair of the Staff Senate. Good afternoon. My name is Nequitha Bowen Tarver. I am the Staff Senate Chair. I will presenting, be presenting to you today the Staff Employee Awards for academic year 2019 2020. First, we have Ms. Deborah Mitchell in the College of Veterinary Medicine. She's receiving the Administrative Clerical Award. Shannon Payne in the Office of Agriculture, Environment, and Nu Nutrition Science. She's receiving the award for Research Administrative. Ms. Tamara Cottrell in the College of Veterinary Medicine. She's receiving the Employee Service Award. Mr. Richard Glaze in the Office of Distant Education and Online Learning. He's receiving the award for Technical Paraprofessional. Ms. Alexis Adams in the College of Veterinary Medicine. She's receiving the Professional Non-Faculty Award. Last, we have our Employee of the Year 2019-2020, Ms. Kimberly A. Pointer in the Office of Research and Graduate School. 
Again, she's the Employee of the Year for 2019-2020. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Bowen Tarver, for the presentation of the Staff Employee Awards. Tuskegee University is indeed very fortunate to have such dedicated staff. Next, we will have the presentation of the 25-Year Service Awards and the Retirement Awardees by Mrs. Vernita White Smart from the Office of Human Resources. Greetings Tuskegee University faculty and staff. On behalf of the Office of Human Resources at Tuskegee University, I am Renita Smart here to present our 25 year service awards and our retirees. First, our 25 year service awards go to Ms. Karen Craig, Dr. Youssef Diabate, Dr. Ann Gebhardt, Mrs. Jill Hill, Dr. Jacqueline Jackson, Dr. Kukasi Kumbliku, Ms. Felicia Moss Grant, Ms. Lisa Pitts, Ms. Sharon Samuel, Mr. Tony Williams, Mr. Garland Wise, and Dr. Andrew Sekiri. Congratulations to each of you for achieving a milestone of 25 years of service. And now our retirees, Dr. Syed Ali, Dr. David Banks, Dr. Intam Baharani, Dr. Marshall Burns, Mr. Harold Glover, Dr. Elaine Kebedi, Dr. Hira Narang, and Dr. Roberta Troy. Congratulations to each of you as well, and may you continue to be blessed on your journey. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. White Smart, for presenting the 25-Year Service Awards and the Retirement Awardees. Employee commitment anchors Tuskegee University. We honor individuals who have worked for decades to build a better Tuskegee University. Next, we will have the presentation of the Barbara A. Howard Legacy of Service Award by Ms. Carrie Flowers. Hi, I'm Carrie Flowers, the daughter of Barbara Howard, and I'm here to announce the recipient of the 2020 Barbara A. Howard Legacy of Service Award. This award was established in memory of my mom to recognize a faculty or staff member committed to carrying on the legacy of Tuskegee University through providing the highest level of service for student success. Thank you, President McNair, for understanding why this award is important and to the selection committee for the work they do in making a selection that embodies my mom's student-centered spirit. This year's awardee is Ms. Joanne Wynn, Immigration Coordinator in the Global Office. Thank you, Ms. Wynn, for the work you do to promote student success and congratulations. Ms. Flowers, Thank you for that presentation. Those who knew Barbara Howard recall her energy, professionalism, and commitment. We all aspire to achieve the level of service that she provided. As immigration coordinator, Mrs. Wynn plays a key role in compliance for international faculty and students. We thank her for her contributions. Next, we will have the presentation of the Faculty Achievement Award by Dr. William Endy, Faculty Senate Chair. Ladies and gentlemen, 
It is my singular honor and pleasure to present to you the winner of the Faculty Achievement Award for 2020. And I will start by introducing the winner, Dr. Olga Bolden Tiller. Dr. Olga Bolden Tiller serves as head of Department of Agricultural and uh, Agricultural and Environmental Sciences and as an assistant dean for the College of Agriculture, Environment and Nutrition Sciences. Dr. Bolden Tiller holds a Bachelor of Science from Fort Valley State University and a PhD from the University of Missouri at Columbia. Dr. Bolden Tiller completed her postdoctoral training at, um, UTM, at the UTMD Anderson Cancer Center before joining Tuskegee University in 2005 as an assistant professor. Since joining Tuskegee University as an assistant uh, professor, she has served as the coordinator for animal, poultry, and veterinary sciences program and the DAES assistant head. She has served as director for numerous well-funded programs, integrative biosciences research exp experience for undergraduate sites and several pre-college programs. In addition to her administrative duties, she is an innovative teacher who maintains a small but robust research program that entails elucidating um, the molecular mechanisms of testicular functions in rodents and ruminants that has resulted in the training of numerous high school, undergraduate, master's uh, graduate students at the master's and PhD levels, and as well as authorship of numerous publications. She is actively involved in um, professional societies, serving in many leadership uh, roles, including her current role as president-elect for the National Society of Minorities in Agriculture, Natural Resources, and Related Sciences Manners. On the board, she serves on the board of directors for the study, um, for the society, for the study of reproduction. For her numerous contributions, Dr. Bolden Taylor has received several awards for teaching, research, and extension service. She is the National Science Foundation um, a recipient for the opportunities for underrepresented scholars, um, fellows. She is also an alumnus, uh, an alumna of the LEAD 21 program, the, field, the Fielding Conclave Leadership Academy, and the Food Systems Leadership Institute. Dr. Bolden Tiller and her husband, Tony, have a son. Carlton. I congratulate you, Dr. T Bolden Taylor, and once more, um, congratulations for your Faculty Achievement Award for the academic year 2020. Thank you. Dr. Andy, thank you for that presentation. I have known Dr. Olga Bolden Tiller for a number of years. As an instructor, she holds students to high standards, and that level of accountability has yielded significant outcomes for the students. She is a scholar and a leader. Again, congratulations, Dr. Bowden Tiller. As an institution of higher education, teaching, research, and service are the pillars of our mission. A successful faculty member demonstrates all three, but each year we acknowledge special contributions with the Faculty Performance Award. I have the distinct honor today of presenting the recipients of the Faculty Performance Awards in our three pillars, teaching, 
research, and service. The recipients were chosen by their individual colleges and schools to receive these awards. Each award is a great honor. The recipients of the 2019-20 Outstanding Performance Awards in Teaching are as follows. In the Bremer College of Business and Information Science, the award is presented to Dr. Hai Jin Lee, Assistant Professor in the Department of Accounting, Economics, and Finance. Dr. Lee received the PhD of Economics from the University of Alabama. She joined the faculty in 2018. In the College of Agriculture, Environment, and Nutrition Sciences, the award is presented to Dr. Gregory C. Bernard, Research Extension Assistant Professor in the Department of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. Dr. Bernard received his PhD in Integrative Biosciences from Tuskegee University in 2015. In the College of Arts and Sciences, the award is presented to Dr. Archana Sharma, Assistant Professor in the Department of Biology. Dr. Sharma received the PhD in Molecular Genetics from Auburn University in 2015. She joined the faculty in 2015. In the College of Engineering, the award is presented to Dr. John Solomon, Associate Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Dr. Solomon received the PhD in Mechanical Engineering from Florida State University in 2010. He joined the faculty in 2012. In the College of Veterinary Medicine, the award is presented to Dr. Ebony Gilbreth, Associate Professor in the Department of Pathobiology. Dr. Gilbreth received the Doctor of Veterinary Medicine from Tuskegee University in 2004 and the PhD in Pathology from Michigan State University in 2011. She joined the faculty in 2011 as well. In the Taylor School of Architecture and Construction Science, the award is presented to Mr. Quasi Daniels, Assistant Professor and Department Head of Architecture. Mr. Daniels received the Master of Architecture from the University of Illinois and the Master of Science in Sustainability Management from Columbia University. He rejoined the faculty in 2017. In the School of Education, the award is presented to Mr. Johnny Mitchell, Instructor of Physical Education. Mr. Mitchell received the Master of Education in Physical Education from Alabama State University. He joined the faculty in 2009. In the School of Nursing and Allied Health, the award is presented to Dr. Tracy Shannon, Associate Dean of Nursing and Allied Health. Dr. Shannon received the doctorate in nursing practice from Troy University. She joined the faculty in 2019. Let's give a round of applause to all of our teaching award recipients. The recipients of the 2019-20 Outstanding Performance Awards in Research are as follows. In the Bremer College of Business and Information Science, the award is presented to Dr. Asif Baba, Assistant Professor of Computer Science. Dr. Baba received the PhD in Computer Science from Aalborg University in Denmark. He joined the faculty in 2015. In the College of Agriculture, Environment, and Nutrition Sciences, the award is presented to Dr. Adelia Bovell Benjamin, Research Extension Professor in the Department of Food and Nutritional Sciences. Dr. Bovell Benjamin received her PhD in nutrition from the University of California, Davis. She joined the faculty in 2000. In the College of Arts and Sciences, the award is presented to Dr. Hong He Wong, Associate Professor in the Department of Biology. 
Dr. Wang received a PhD in biology from Sun Yat-sen University in China in 2000. She joined the faculty in 2009. In the College of Engineering, the award is presented to Dr. Shayar Jafara Najad, Assistant Professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering. Dr. Jafari Najad received a PhD in chemical engineering from the University of Tehran in Iran and completed his postdoctoral research at the University of California, Irvine. He joined the faculty in 2018. In the College of Veterinary Medicine, the award is presented to Dr. Pawan Puri, Assistant Professor in the Department of Biomedical Sciences. Dr. Puri received his PhD in physiology from Kent State University, Ohio, and performed his postdoctoral research at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. He joined the faculty in 2017. In the Taylor School of Architecture and Construction Science, the award is presented to Ms. Swanali Ghosh Dastidar. Assistant Professor in the Department of Construction Science. Ms. Ghosh Dastidar received the Master of Architecture from Miami University and the Master of Science in Civil Engineering from the University of Missouri. She joined the faculty in 2018. In the School of Nursing and Allied Health, the award is presented to Mrs. Alveda Reese Assistant Professor in the Department of Nursing. Mrs. Reese received the Master of Science degree in Nursing from Auburn University. She joined the faculty in 2013. Let's give a round of applause to all of our research award recipients. The recipients of the 2019-20 Outstanding Performance Awards in Service are as follows. In the Bremer College of Business and Information Science, the award is presented to Dr. Yasmin Rorajev, Assistant Professor in the Department of Computer Science. Dr. Rorajev received the PhD in Software Engineering from Auburn University. She joined the faculty in 2017. In the College of Agriculture, Environment, and Nutrition Sciences, the award is presented to Dr. Franklin Kuaku, Research and Extension Assistant Professor in the Department of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. Dr. Kuaku received his PhD in Entomology from Auburn University. He joined the faculty in 2015. In the College of Arts and Sciences, the award is presented to Dr. April Jones, Assistant Professor and Department Head of Social Work. Dr. Jones received the PhD in Organizational Psychology from Walden University in 2014 and her Master of Social Work from the University of Alabama in 2003. She joined the faculty in 2018. In the College of Engineering, the award is presented to Dr. Mohammed Hossein, Associate Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Dr. Hossein received the PhD in Mechanical Engineering from the University of Nevada in 2004. He joined the faculty in 2008. In the College of Veterinary Medicine, the award is presented to Attorney Crystal James, Associate Professor department head and director of graduate public health. Attorney James received the Master of Public Health from Emory University Rollins School of Public Health and the Doctor of Jurisprudence from the University of Houston Law Center. She joined the faculty in 2016. In the Taylor School of Architecture and Construction Science, the award is presented to Dr. Sharna L. Rogers, Associate Professor and Senior Program Coordinator of Industry Relations for Construction Science. Dr. Rogers received her PhD in architecture from Georgia Institute of Technology. She joined the faculty in 2019. In the School of Education, 
The award is presented to Dr. Olga Glodova, Associate Professor and Department Chair for the Department of Physical Education. Dr. Glodova received a PhD from Auburn University. She joined the faculty in 2013. In the School of Nursing and Allied Health, the award is presented to Ms. Melanie Macklin, Assistant Professor of Nursing. Ms. Macklin received the Master's in Maternal Child Health Nursing from Virginia Commonwealth University. She joined the faculty in 2015. In Library Services, the award is presented to Ms. Joanne Graham, Engineering Librarian, Department of Library Services. Ms. Graham received the Master of Education degree in Library Media from Auburn University. She joined the faculty in 2018. Let's give a round of applause to all of our service award recipients. Now, let's give a final round of applause to all of our faculty performance award recipients. Last year, we recognized all current Tuskegee University patent holders. It was a large group. It became clear that the recognition should be a permanent addition to the program. Accordingly, next, Dr. Jelani will present patents awarded since the last recognition. My name is Jelani. I'm the Vice President for Research and Dean of Graduate School. It gives me a great pleasure to present this certificate of patent to one of my colleagues, Dr. Vijay Rangari, Professor of Material Science and Engineering for his patent number 1058317 that was issued to him on March 10th, 2020. The title of his patent is Filtration System and methods of using such systems for improved water filtration system. And again, I would like to congratulate Dr. Vijay Rangari. Thank you. Dr. Jelani, thank you for recognizing this year's patent recipient. Innovation is key for economic growth and prosperity. It is critical to acknowledge its importance. Congratulations, Dr. Rangari, on a successful patent application. No pressure, but we look forward to many more. Next, we will have Dr. Kelly Samuels and Dr. Maria Calhoun, Quality Enhancement Plan co-directors, present individuals who completed the National Career Development Association Career Development Certification. The National Career Development Association Certification Training is an activity of the university's Quality Enhancement Plan. The following faculty and staff successfully completed the 14-week Career Development Certification. Leon Allen, Marissa Anderson, Toya Dean, Robert Douglas, Latia McCurdy, Russell Newman, Savitra Reed, yours truly, Kelly Samuels, and Mrs. Edna Woodson. Thank you. The following faculty members have successfully completed the faculty and staff career advising certification. Dr. Asif Baba, Dr. Carla Bell, Yours truly, Maria Calhoun, Dr. Rhonda Collier, Dr. S. Jafarnajad, Dr. Tammy Laughlin, Dr. Jeanette Lewis Clark, Dr. Carolyn Wadlington. Congratulations to all of the newly certified faculty and staff career development advisors. Thank you to our QEP directors for presenting the individuals who completed career development certification. 
Next, our interim president, Dr. Charlotte P. Morris, will give closing remarks, and Dean Gregory Gray will offer the benediction. Greetings, everyone. I want to add my sincere appreciation to those individuals who are retiring, and a big thank you for the services that you've provided for Tuskegee University. I know it's a great feeling to reach this milestone in your life, but don't just go home and sit. Find something to do to keep you active and to keep you in good spirits, especially during this pandemic era. Congratulations also to the 25-year awardees and those faculty and staff members who received awards in recognitions of excellence in service. We applaud what you do, and we want you to know that we appreciate your assisting us in advancing the mission of this institution. It is always an honor to recognize excellence. So Dr. Bolin Tiller, we salute you and the work that you do for Tuskegee University. Thank you. If I missed anyone or any category, you know what you do and you know who you are. So thank you always. Those research innovators, our hats are off to you as well as those who completed the career development training. It takes all of us to build on the legacy of this institution and those who come and those who came before us. We look forward to your continued collaborative spirit and as we move forward with the goals and objectives that have been identified. Thank you, keep safe, and help others to do the same. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. 
The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.